Please work. And it did, yeah. I have to send a shout out to, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the name right, Gaelic Hellross. He has posted a clue that has figured out um, what was going on here. Yep, and I just left the hallway. I meant to stay inside. We were left off. We have these platforms here. Get over here at the edge. We'll look down. You notice we've got these platforms that we were jumping on. Got to this one here, and it's too high to jump from this one up here. He, and there went our torch. Either that or I've lost my eyesight. It always told me I'd go blind if I kept playing video games. Or something like that. Let's see. There we go. All right, we're back here. He noticed and posted on the board that each one of these four platforms here seem to have the same texture on top of them that the room over here. Remember the one with the four floors and the dials on the wall. Each one seems to have the same texture on top of it that these dials have. The lowest one over there at the far wall has this pattern. The next one has this pattern. The next one has this pattern and so on to the fourth one over here, which is the highest. So, I'm thinking, he's, he's given us the idea here. I believe he's figured it out that these dials control the height of the platforms. So if this dial here pointing down is the highest one of the platforms it needs to be on the farthest one to the right so we will set it to point down and this is the lowest one and points up to the right so we'll set the other one at the other end to point to the right so let's set this one to point down let's set this one over here To point to the upper right there we go and now the two in the middle basically just need to be swapped so this one needs to point to the right this one needs to point one down I think that's right okay so let us go and see what that's done out in the room with the platforms. Yeah, let me move my mouse. I'm on a bad surface here and it's not wanting to quite behave itself. Alright, yes, that platform's now much lower. So let's go on down see what all four of them look like. Excellent. Good, good thinking there. It looks like the platforms have been reversed in height. Very good. And I think we definitely should be able to make the jump from this one over to that one and then up the other wall. So, excellent thinking. Thank you, thank you very much. Good job at figuring this one out. And uh, once again, I'm going to save here. Let's save it as Jump Mother Jump. 
so that when I start missing the jumps, um, y'all aren't going to have to watch me continue to try to make them like that. Mm, this one's actually slightly higher than the other one was, but looks like it still ought to be possible to get there. There we go. Alrighty. I'm going to save that. Yes, like I said, my favorite weapon in any game is the save game rifle. So, let's reload it. And can we make that jump? No. Alrighty. I'm going to make the jumps when I get up on that last platform. I will rejoin you again. And I'm not going to make you watch Mario's brother Zeppo make the jumps in the meantime. that now okay we're up here we're on the last two jumps we've made it all the way up here let's see if we can get this one all right one last one to go and there we made it all right so let's see what was worth all that trouble up here in this room um, looks like we have a box, and it looks like a grave, maybe. Definitely looks like a uh, tombstone of some kind. Let's take a look at it. Here lies Corianos, the master builder. Long he toiled to rework the abyss into a home fit for the coming of Kabiris's colonists. Tragedy did strike before his task was done when a stone block fell upon his head. That's not nice. It's not nice at all. Um, let's see, what's in the box? You see a gold coffer. Can we pick it up? It's too heavy to pick up. Alrighty. I don't think we have anything in this one, do we? No, let's see if we can get rid of it. Can we pick up the gold coffer? Still too heavy to pick up. Can we use it? See what's inside of it. There we go. Um, we have to turn our looking back on. We have a worn axe. We have a resilient sphere. Um, I bet that's wanting to say that's probably a red rubber ball. Worn cap, worn leather leggings, a worn vest, and an unblemished scepter. Alright, I know we lost our leggings in that last fight. So let's put those on. Will it let us? Or are we going to have to get rid of some more stuff? There we go. A worn leather cap, which we're wearing. Worn, is that a vest? Yes. And what's this one? Serviceable. So that's better. Um, what else do we have? 
Too heavy to pick up for one thing. Unblemished scepter. Alright, what can we get rid of? Um, we still got that mace or did we uh, cudgel or did we get rid of the cudgel and we probably got rid of it are we hungry we are peckish let's eat a little food see if that'll take off some all right two day old fish ate one of them tasted pretty good well fed and wide awake all right can we get the scepter now Still too heavy to pick up. All right. So, what else can we get rid of? Hmm. Let's ditch some candles. We're not going to be using them. All right. Let's try to get that scepter now. Very good. Throw it into the chest with our valuables. Um, I want that resilient sphere. Okay. Just as I said, I believe it's a red rubber ball. Don't tell me the sphere is going to be too heavy for us to pick up still. No, good. We'll put it in with the valuables as well. Alrighty. And we've got a worn axe and a badly worn hand axe. Can we trade those two out? Okay. Too heavy to pick up? Too heavy to pick up. Okay. Mm. Any more torches or anything? No. Definitely the next time I gain a level, I need to work on my strength. Let's get rid of the oil flasks. Alright, and then I will remember that this up here is basically going to be like my private stockpile. There we go. Alright. So, very good. We have uh, replenished our... Replenished our armor supply a bit. And let's see if we can get down from here. I know we can get down a lot quicker than we got back up because we could always like that fella jump. All right. Now let's close that pack. And I want to get my healing spell back up. The torch should last a while. Once again, thank you, Gaelic. That has definitely... Um, been of a good deal of assistance there. There we go. All right. So I think we are actually finished with this room unless we need to come back and get something at some point. So let us travel on and see what else we can find inside the abyss here. We have a couple more rooms down this hallway. And let's see what's in them. Yeah, that room there was definitely uh, throwing me off the scent. I was thinking that it worked the secret door. And uh, that was definitely not right. I think we need to go behind us here. Let's see. To the west and then down south a little bit. I guess down at the end of that passage, it looks like there is a door. Okay. So let's turn and see what we see down this way. See a bunch of debris on the floor, blood stain, 
And another metal door, stone door. Is it locked? Silly question, yes. Okay, here's our silver key on the silver door. And then open her up. All right, I see something moving. Let's get up our sword. Oops, ax, I mean. is that up there oh my god I think it's a skeleton can it attack us from up there no but it can attack us down here now good there we go swing there excellent Good job. Unlocked or undamaged our wooden shield, but hey. What did it drop? Just a helmet. Could combat off. Serviceable leather cap. This is a worn. Let's trade her out. Okay, and are there any other beasties up there? Not that I can see. All right, so let's go further down and see what the skeleton was guarding. Well, he's guarding a tapestry. serviceable cudgel so we've got some more weapons here if we need them anything over here on this side a serviceable chain cowl hey we get upgrade armor to chainmail and I don't see anything on this wall all right don't see a door or anything. Let's see what it looks like on the map. Okay. Let's go up and look down the other little passage there. Does this say anything? No, just tapestry. Okay. Like Gandalf, I have no memory of this place. Sturdy door. And it is locked. Excuse me there. Had a sneeze come out of nowhere. Okay. Okay, it's just the door on the other side, so it just circled on around. Cool. Alright, let's continue on to the east. See what's at the end of this passageway. And that would be pretty much nothing. And we have apparently finished off the first level of the abyss. All right, I'm gonna go back in, see about trading out that chain cowl. I will probably have to drop something to do it. And my light has gone out again. Boy, that spell didn't last long at all that time. All right. Go up, grab the cowl. said yes I am definitely gonna have to upgrade my armor uh, upgrade my strength the next time that I uh, do my chance all right 
what am I going to have to drop? Um, a cap to start with. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. And there we go. Very good. All right, folks. We are here. We have, it looks like, completed... Um, and I know that secret door is there, so let's erase that. We know where it goes. We have completed the first level of the abyss, it would appear. And we are going to go over here and go down. So the next time that I join you, I will be standing right over here at the downstairs. And we will continue on and start exploring the second level of the abyss. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Let's see here. We'll call it skinny dipping. Or I'll call it going down. Alright. Thank you much and y'all have a good one.